Hey everyone, CJ here for Tuts Plus. In this course, I'm going to show you how to make easily deployable, modular, powerful, statically generated websites using Cactus for Mac. This course is perfect if you've got some experience in front-end development. Although a deep understanding isn't required, you should be able to edit HTML and CSS files on the fly. If you're an experienced developer, there will be some parts of the course where I'll be walking through editing some Python files in the Python programming language. Or, this course is perfect if you're just looking for some new tools to use when you want to quickly generate and build a powerful, statically generated website for your own personal use or for even full-scale apps or websites. This course will be split into three different sections. The first part involves getting to know Cactus. Cactus is an easy to use Mac app, though not a lot of instructions are required in terms of setup and looking through the interface. There's a whole plethora of tools that are shown here in a brief overview on the Cactus for Mac website. I'm just gonna go through each of these tools so that you'll know how to easily take advantage of these tools as you start using Cactus for Mac, so that you can start using Cactus for Mac straight out of the box. The second part of the course involves extending Cactus for Mac. So that's because Cactus for Mac runs on a templating framework called the Django Templating Framework, or the Django Framework. The powerful thing about Cactus is, because it utilizes the Django Framework, is that beyond its own simple plethora of tools, the Django Framework makes it easily customizable and extensible through the use of plugins. That means, just by editing some Python files or using the Django Templating Framework language, it can do more than just have it generate a simple flat state of HTML and CSS files. And you'd have something more dynamic, basically like a blog CMS or portfolio CMS without having to do some custom server expensive stuff on the other side. So it's all generated locally and deployed as flat files. Really dynamic, more of a misnomer. The next part of the course involves taking the use of the Django framework, implementing what we've learned in the previous parts, and converting an easy, probably demonstrable theme that we've created already, that you'll see in the source files, and implement it into the Cactus framework. Sort of like converting an already made basic HTML and CSS file into a dynamic, statically generated modular website using the Django templating framework. To end the course, I'm going to show you how to implement Cactus's own easily deployable feature, which is a one-click button to deploy your static site, all built and compiled, into Amazon Web Services. Don't worry if you've never used Amazon Web Services before, because in that part of the course, I'll be detailing what exactly is Amazon Web Services, and what are the tools that we can use, and how much better it is over using an expensive web host to using the cheaper, free, easily scalable Amazon Web Services specifically that of Amazon S3 and Amazon Route 53. And that's an overview of the course. You can of course skip to the other parts, and there are a whole bunch of other Tuts Plus tutorials out there if you're unfamiliar with some of the terms that I'll be using throughout the course. There are also on other courses and other free tutorials out there on using the Django templating framework, and I highly recommend that you do read some of those if you want to sort of extend what you learn from this course. Either way, Start warming up your hands because we're going to get started using Cactus for Mac.